I'm Dr. Charles Apoki. I saw something online. I don't know if it was artificial intelligence that generated it. I couldn't believe my ears. I heard somebody say that it was tight that Adam ate that made God drive him out of the Garden of Eden. If we don't correct some of these things, the church will be seen as a bundle of charlatans or extortionists just trying to make money from people. Who, what work was Adam doing? Who was he supposed to pay the tithes to, to God? What, what, what will he have used to pay the tithes? Did God, did we read anywhere in the Bible where God told him that he should pay a tenth? Adam had everything in sufficiency. So if he paid his tithes for what? Imagine the landlord of the whole world at that time, or caretaker of the whole world, with all the animals and everything to his disposal. What was he paying the tithe for? Adam was driven out of the garden because of disobedience and so that he would not eat the tree of life and live forever in a sinful situation. So if it was tight, Jesus didn't need to come and die. One of the things I realized is that a lot of these are so-called God's generals. They've had themselves preached into a box. Very mighty projects, grandiosity, competition, and so uh, conspicuous consumption and the hedonic treadmill. So they always need money to execute projects, execute things. And so to get this money, everything must be done to preach money out of the pockets of the people. And when I talked about the way the church is going, beneficiaries of this nonsense and of the wrath will come and attack me. That is because I'm not pastoring the church. It is sad. I saw one video in an Anglican church. A young man went there, was preaching, and he gave, and he gave. I want you to run here and bring 200,000 tropeted. And the vicar came out and drove him out of the church. Drove him out of the pulpit. That's the way Pentecostalism and ministry has degenerated. Everything, money, money, money. I don't understand. God has to help us. God has to help us. And we need a fresh set of men of influence in this dispensation. That's why I'm doing a seminar on the 8th and on the 9th of November. It's online. Send a message to plus 234-80-21-21-9262 to register you for that seminar. It's a paid seminar. And you will learn a lot. God bless you. I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Hapoki.